We want to introduce you to a very special person. I'm here with Mauricio Ibarra. He is a general consul of Mexico here in El Paso, and he's really here to provide services for the community for Mexican nationals living in the United States. First of all, welcome to El Paso. You've been here for several months, right? Thank you, Patty. Thank you very much. A pleasure to be here. I have been here over two months now. Uh -huh. so, so just unpacked, basically. And for people who don't know, talk about how the consulate um, works with the community as far as providing services, and especially Mexican nationals living here in the United States. Thank you. That's a great question. And basically, the, the priorities of the Mexican consulate are to provide services to the Mexican community and to the Mexican-American community. Our first priority is the protection of Mexicans living here. Here. And for that, we offer different types of services, including uh, legal, legal advice. Uh, we can offer them when something bad happens here, we can repatriate remains to, to Mexico. Uh, we give uh, uh, workshops related to, to knowing the rights here in the U.S., but also of the obligations that they have when they live in a, in a, in a foreign country. Um, we try to to tell them uh, to try to avoid certain things so that they won't get in trouble. So that's part of the, of the protection, we call it protection services. Uh, but we have many more. Uh, we have, um, as part of the link with the community, we have uh, social type programs. For example, we have what we call Ventanilla yes. de Salud, or a health window. And basically what we have it's preventive health advice that we yes. give to the community. Uh, we can refer them to low-cost clinics so that they can, they can uh, be treated for specific ailments. Um, we do uh, very general screenings, health screenings of, of the people. And we also help them navigate through the, through the health insurance system here in the U.S. to tell them what type of, uh, of health insurance they could acquire. Uh, that, that is one. Then we have, uh, on the educational part, we have also uh, an educational window where we tell the community what options do they have for continuing studying at all levels. If it's primary, high school, um, education for adults. So we give them all the information related to what's available for them. Um, we work with different uh, educational institutions and we uh, tell the community if there are, for example, the scholarships available mm -hmm. for them or what type of, of relief they could get if they go to certain institution. Then we have, for example, another part that is very important, which is um, the financial education. Yes. And for that, we teach the community, for example, why it's important to save, uh, where, in, in which banks can they open an account, uh, what do they know, uh, what do they need to be doing uh, to to keep their finances, uh, you know, in, in shape. And we also actually teach them and tell them that it's important for them to pay taxes so that for uh, whenever um, the, if they want to, to seek uh, migratory relief, um, they can say that they have been paying taxes uh, for a long time. No? Uh, so that's very important um, for uh, the community. And, and we do all this with several allies here in the, in the community in El Paso. Different institutions work with us. They come uh, for these workshops that we organize and they talk to the community. So that's uh, very important. Uh, we have another uh, very important function, which is uh, promoting trade. Uh, trade promotion is, is going to be moving uh, forward uh, a, a stronger uh, obligation of, of, the, of the 50 consulates that we have in, in the U.S. Uh, as you know, now we are promoting the ratification of the U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement. Yes, yes. Having, having a, a trade framework uh, uh, for increasing bilateral trade is very important, especially if we're talking about uh, a, 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 a border community, yes. obviously, and the importance of, of trade between uh, El Paso and Texas and Mexico. I think uh, that is very important. And I wanted to say that something that is important for me is how do we improve the image that everybody has about what's happening at the border. Yes. Uh, we believe and we are convinced that the border is an area of te technological development, of innovation, of research, of education, and the best things happen here. 
They so, do. I agree with you. <laughs> so we need to be doing more yes. to raise the awareness and that people that live outside the border know exactly what the border is about. And it's an amazing place to live. And so we're going to have a list of all your workshops and events and services on our website. Perfect. If Thank you want to get a hold of the Mexican consulate, head on over to KTSM.com and click on the Studio 9 tab. Thank you so much, Mauricio, for being on our show. Thank you. Thank you for pleasure.